Oh, oh, I mean, hey. Hey babes, I don't like the way my face looks. So basically this makeup was inspired by Ty Rooms' art. In fact, it's a recreation of it. Their art consists of a whole bunch of Martha characters and they're absolutely amazing and you should definitely check them out or else I'm gonna bite you. And because of that, I'm not really 100% on the way it turned out. I mean, I love the makeup of it, don't get me wrong. But the editing, I don't know if it's because it's so different, but it just, it doesn't, it doesn't sit right with me. But anyways, into the tutorial. TUTORIAL TIME! So the first thing that I do is I glue down my eyebrows and like I always do this just so I can flatten my hair or like attempt to flatten because I'm gonna be honest it's not flat at all and this is just so that it's easier for me to put down makeup on it. Then I'm taking some eyeliner. I'm taking brown. You can use whatever color you like. I've seen a lot of people use white however I don't have that so shut up. And then I'm just sketching out the eyes and the dress so I can like put things and then not mix paints and then sh you know just it makes things easier I guess. Time for the face. So the first thing I do um, was unsuccessful, but I take some blue and red paint and I mix it together to get a dark blue paint. And then I add this to the contours of the face. And then I put a base of blue down and um, the goal was for it to like mix together and then have the contours stick out, but it just kind of blended together a little too much. And then the contours aren't definitive at all, but you know what? You know, I don't know what, I don't know what's gonna go with that. Leave that alone. Then, as you can see, there's a little gap between like the blue and my lips, and that's because I'm going to take some red paint right here, I'm starting to make my lips bigger than they actually are. And I didn't want to have blue there, just you know, because blue and red, if they mix together, they'll make purple, and she doesn't have purple lips, so slay. You just got slayed. Then I'm taking some red eyeshadow, and for whatever reason, it shows up as like purple on my skin. I don't really understand that. Um, but anyways, I'm using that to shade um, the lips. I'm just sticking it to like you know wherever it is on the photo because that's it's kind of the goal. And then I'm taking some coral-ish paint and I'm starting to make highlights on the lips. And then I, I really don't know why I do this, and it, it it looks bad, but I'm just gonna keep it in here anyway because it's such a big difference. But I'm taking a sponge that I had previously used for my Harley Quinn look, and Harley Quinn has white skin, and mixing that together will make a really light blue. And I just did that for who knows what reason. Then taking a dark blue eyeshadow, I'm starting to make the contours that I previously had messed up and I'm just pretty much re-adding it everywhere and making it more definitive, which was the goal to do eventually, but the, also the goal was to actually have contours that didn't mess up. And then I'm taking some light blue paint and I'm starting to add some highlights to the face. Um, I kind of just add them in a general area, loosely looking at the picture. We get more in depth on the highlights eventually, but not right now. And then I'm taking various shades of purples and pink eyeshadows and I'm starting to make a blush. It looks really, really, really bad at first. And in, and, and in a second too. It just looks pretty bad in general, but once you get the highlights on it, it looks great. Then I'm taking some purple eyeshadow I'm starting to put it down on the contours, mainly where the blush are. Actually, no, I'm looking at it right now. It's not where the areas of blush are. Um, anyways, I'm just putting it everywhere, I guess. And then I'm taking some purple eyeshadow. I'm starting to put it around the fake eyes, sticking around to that eye shape. It's kind of difficult just because I didn't put it in my eye, so it's above my eye. And so it's not going to be in the exact placement as it is in the reference photo, but you know, it's, it's, it works or whatever. Then taking black eyeshadow, I'm doing the same exact thing. And then I'm taking some yellow paint and, and then I'm putting some yellow eyeshadow on top of it just to mat it down. And this is so wrong. You should be putting it on last because guess what? Your eye makeup's going to get messed up repeatedly and you're going to have to fix it. So do that last. Don't look, don't, don't look at me when I do this. Then I'm taking some dark blue paint and I'm doing like whatever. And 
and then I'm taking some black paint and making some eyebrows and they, listen they look bad okay I don't know I don't know why they turned out so bad but they did and then I'm taking white paint and guess what I'm making the highlights that literally just changed the whole look it makes it look so good I'm sticking to whatever Tyrone did in his photo so yeah I'm not really don't really have any words to do here besides look at your picture you dumbass sorry that was mean happy birthday Then I'm taking some black paint and I'm making some of the really dark contours and then you know whatnot. And now for the arms. I'm Okay. I'm just gonna Minecraft speedrun this because guess what? It's the little same exact process, but like if you wanted to see it for whatever reason because you are planning on doing this and you just see how someone did the arms, um, here you go. Um, happy early birthday! And now for the dress. Um, so her dress is white, yeah, yeah, we can agree on that, maybe. And, but I'm gonna be mixing purple and white paint just so I can get this purplish hue that's on the dress, and then I'm gonna highlight it later. I just thought it'd be easier to do this instead of, like, the other way around. Then I'm taking very great eyeshadows, I'm starting to make, like, the movements of the dress. And listen, I have, I have some... I have some really important beef with this dress. I don't fully understand this, you know. When I looked at her dress before, I just assumed that, you know, it was fabric, as most dresses are made out of. And then I just, I looked at the collar, and it's just, it looks so hard, like, unreasonably. So I'm like, okay, is it a latex dress? But the thing is, the rest of the dress, it just, it flows in the wind. So like, what, what, I don't know. But basically, uh, if you need help with the uh, shading of the dress, basically the collar's hard and the rest looks soft. And I go in with a white paint and this is just adding the white to the dress, also highlights, and then you get a white looking dress with the purple hues and you know, I think it works. If you don't think it works, shut up. I don't want to hear it. Happy birthday. Okay. Then I'm taking some black paint and I'm doing just like I did with the face and making it more like comma booky and then like making the darkest of the dark spots. And that is literally it. If you happen to like it, leave a like. And I love hearing feedback, so if you want to comment something, that'd be greatly appreciated. And uh, subscribe if you want to. You don't have to, but um, my children are starving in a basement because of you. So.